In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to make a tracking app where you want to track some goals or activities that people have done. And to do this, we're going to use the TinyDB component, which allows you to store information on your phone. So this is when you want to save personal information that you're not sharing with people at this point, but you want to track your own activities. In this example, we're going to have a green tracking app. It asks you, what have you done today? And it shows today's date and then it gives you a set of checkboxes for different things that you can do to be more green. And so what you can do then is say, oh, today I walked or biked instead of driving. So you can check the boxes of what you've done. Now I've just got three examples, but you could add as many as you wanted. Hit submit and then it shows me my statistics because I clicked one on the walking. It shows me that. So it says, great start, keep up the good work. And the idea is that each day you'd log in and you track your information. Then I would come back tomorrow and I would see my numbers increase for the additional days. And as I continue to do more each day, these numbers should increase. So if I tomorrow walked or biked instead of driving, that number would increase to two. So it's going to keep track of that information for me. I've refreshed my screen here just to show how it would work. So say the next day, even though I'm, I'm doing this on the same day, I'm going to say I took a reusable bag shopping. So now it had saved my information about biking. So there's a count of one there and then the number of times I used my reusable shopping shopping bag one. So it will store that information and then accumulate that over the days so you can keep track of how well you are being green. Let's go ahead and build that app. Let's start a new project. I'm going to call this my green tracker. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to have two different parts. So I'm going to have one where they can check the boxes and then the second part of the app is where you can see your statistics. I'm going to add two vertical arrangements, uh, one underneath the other. The first one I'm going to call activity arrangement and I'm going to make its width fill parent. The second one I'm going to call my stats arrangement that's going to show my statistics and I'll make that fill parent as well. Inside activity arrangement I'm going to add a label and let's make this centered. And this is going to be my motivation label. And let's start it off with what have you done today to be more green. I want to add my check boxes, but I want them to also be vertical. So I'm going to add within that another vertical arrangement inside that one. And then this one, let's make the width 80%. So it doesn't go quite all the way across. And then let's rename this checkbox arrangement. And under user interface, let's add some checkboxes. So we'll add one, two, three. Oop. Let's make sure they get inside that box. And then under that, under that whole arrangement, so below that, within the, the larger one, is going to be our submit button. So let's change the text to be submit and uh, rename it Submit Button. Feel free to change colors and make this look prettier. I'm just going to do this quickly just to demo how this will work. You can choose whatever you want for the activities you want to track. You can add as many as you'd like. I'm going to just do three just to show the general idea. For the first one, let's say, let's call this Plant-Based Food Checkbox. That's a long one. Second one is going to be walking or biking instead of driving. So I'll call this uh, walk bike checkbox. And the third one is going to be took it reusable bag shopping. So I'll call this reusable bag checkbox. And let's fix the text to actually say that. So let's change the text for the text box. So this will say ate plant based food instead of meat. Second one, I'm going to say uh, walked or bike instead of driving. And for the third one, I'm going to say took a reusable bag shop shopping. Let's go up here. I'm just going to make this up. Oh, I did this wrong. I actually renamed the uh, vertical arrangement. So let's rename that again. So this is going to be my activity arrangement. And then my label is the thing I wanted to rename motivation label. And I am going to make this the font a little bit bigger. And let me change the color to green. Let's make that a little bit greener. I'm going to make it a little darker. 
Now, below here, we're going to have the statistics. And so we want to report the numbers for each of these. So we're going to have a series of labels. Let me go drag and label. And again, let's make this centered. So I've got the main label. So this is going to be st uh, stat label. And again, I'm going to make this say your stati my statistics. I'll make this bigger again, and I'll make it green again. Let's keep going here. So I'm going to need six labels. Sometimes tricky to get it inside of the arrangement, so you just have to keep moving it around. One more. Let's go ahead and rename all of these. The first one's going to be a label, and the second one's going to be a count. So let's call this a plant food label. And I'll call this one plant food count. And I'll call this one walk bike label. Oh, wrong one. So let's um, let's move these up so we get them in the right order. And this will be walk bike count. And this one will be reusable bag. So I'll call this bag label. And I'll call this bag count. And let's now change the text for them. So this will be number of times I ate plant-based food instead of meat. And we'll start off all of these with a zero for the counts. And then this one will be a uh, number of times I walked a bike instead of driving. This will be zero again. And this will be number of times I used a reusable bag. And this will be zero. Initially, we're going to hide the statistics arrangement. So we just can click on it and hit the visible checkbox to turn it off. And what we're going to do is the user is going to choose which of these things they've done, hit submit, and then we'll reveal their statistics. The last two things we're going to need is for storage, we're going to drag in a tiny DB. That's a non-visible component that's going to allow us to store this information on our phone or tablet. TinyDB is useful if you want to store information so that you can go back to the app, close the app, go back the next day, and still access that information. So it's personal information you want to store locally on your phone or tablet. And then the other thing I'm going to do is grab from sensors a clock, and this is going to allow us access to the date. So we want to track today's date. Okay, so now I think we're ready to go to blocks. And what we're going to do is when screen one initializes, we want to store some information or we want to access some information. So the first thing I want to do is I want to get today's date and I want to put that in the screen. So here I want to say, what have you done today and put today's date to be more green. A nice, you know, addition to the app. And it's going to also allow us, we're going to do an advanced feature later where we're going to track if they've, if they've done good green things multiple days in a row. Let's go ahead and say set motivation text to and I'm going to use a join from text and I'm going to add another string and what I'll say is I'll grab this and whoop, and I'll move this in here so what I'm going to do is say what have you done today and it's going to then go to clock and what I want to do is find the formatting. So what I want to say is format date here. It's going to format it as, you know, the month, the day, and the year. And the instant that we want is also from clock. So we can get clock now gives us the, you know, exact instant now. But then it's going to format it as the date. So it's going to pull the date out of that information. And we're going to end that with to be more green. So when we run it, it will insert today's date. The other thing we want to do is get our counts from our tiny DB. This is an, kind of an added feature from App Inventor. So I'll go back here and show you this. So these are labels, but in App Inventor, they can also pretty much be used as variables. So we can store numbers, in this case, the number zero, but we can also do math with them. So we can add values to it. So what we're going to do is kind of treat these as our variables holding these counts within our app. I'm going to say, and let me go back and make sure I turn that back off. So let's go to blocks and I'm going to say set my plant food count. So even though it's going to be invisible, we're still going to set up what the value is. 
and we're going to set plant food count text to and we're going to get it get that value from our tiny db so this is getting it from the information stored on the phone and we need to give it a a tag everything in tiny db has a tag and a value so it's like the name that we're giving it and then the value we're going to call this i'm going to call it the exact same name as my label now there are two different things the tag is within tiny db and the label is a component in app inventor but we'll just still give it that name and the value we want is actually going to be the value zero so we don't want to blank because this is a number and we want to be able to add to it i'm going to duplicate this and i'm going to say let's also get the walk byte count and let's call this walk byte count and then the third thing will be our bag count and we'll call this bag count our app will open we're going to set today's date in the label at the top and then we're going to grab these values from our phone then what we're going to do is the user will you know choose what they've done and then click submit what we will then do is say using a series of if statements if if we click on plant-based food checkbox there's this if it's checked so this is either going to be true or false so if they've checked it and the checkbox is checked meaning yes I did use plant-based food uh, or I did eat plant-based food instead of meat today it will say yes this is checked and what we will do is then say well let's add one to our plant-based food count so remember we've stored it in this label so we're going to add one to it go to math add one and we want to add to that value and for math a one again then we also want to store that back in tiny db so we'll go to tiny db and we'll say store value and let's make sure that we've got the exact same one so we're going to duplicate this plant food count and what we're going to do is store the value that's in our food count label there we've added one to it so say it was zero we'll add one it's now one and we're going to store that so it's saved in tiny db we're going to do the same for the other two so we can just duplicate this and i'm going to change this to walk bike and walk bike count this is very important that we change all these and this instead will be walk by count. If you miss any of these, then you'll cause issues. So it'll be, it's easy to, to miss one of these. So you want to make sure that you change them all. So just reviewing it all. Okay. And then we'll duplicate that and we'll do it for the reusable bags. Reusable bag checkbox, bag count, bag count. Duplicate this up here. And replace that and this will be bag count so I believe that these are all set up correctly let's go ahead and see if we can oh and then what we want to do is I'm going to make this one visible so I'm going to show my stats so I'm going to set stats visible to and I'll go to logic and set true and I will duplicate this and I'm going to then make my activity arrangement invisible so I'll set that to false and the idea then is that you know we, we just get our stats and we're done for the day we, we track our stats and then we just close out of the app and come back the next day let's go ahead and connect to the emulator and see how this works now it's come up and it says what have you done today August 19th be more green and so say I can check off this one and this one and if I hit submit the top one is a one middle one I didn't check so that's still zero and then the number of times I used a reusable bag is one so that seems to work now what I would normally do would be just to close out and then come back the next day and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm restarting my emulator to show what would happen the next time I come in and normally it would be the next day but we can go ahead and see what it looks like we store information in tinydb and it's stored so anytime we close the app and come back it will still have that information here I've restarted the app with the emulator and so let's say I'm just not going to click anything and if I hit submit 
that information is still there. It pulled the information from, from the time I used the app before, and so those numbers are still there. Let me refresh. I'm going to just refresh the screen. Essentially restarts it. So say I then said, oh, I ate plant-based food instead of meat. So now that's number two and zero and one. See how it keeps track and continues to add to that information each time we use the app. Now right there you have an app that can track information, save it to TinyDB and you can retrieve it. That's a good start. If you're interested, I'm going to go on and do a little bit more with tracking if the user is doing green stuff on consecutive days. And if that's the case, we're going to motivate them more by doing good green things multiple days in a row. So that will be in part two.